Hey guys, we've got the final area on Legend of Mana Vision World open. There's three final bosses. This is the first one. Uh, this is a machine golem, weak to uh, water and light. So let's go in here and get a clear in if we can. Um, so the damage cap for the final area is 20.2 billion. So we need to do a lot of damage. All right, so the boss is going to preemptively break. So we're going to have to dispel that with a holy torch. We're going to use um, Tifa to just Magnus the party. We're going to use, I'm sorry, Eileen. And then Tifa and Sephiroth will do their LBs to get a stack of damage. All right, we're going to Fenrir Field with Rees. Um, and then Sea King Nicole will imbue the party with water and imperil water. Or Ocean Nicole, whatever you want to call them. Okay, perfect. So the boss does accuracy physical on turn three, as well as five and six. Um, if you want to get a perfect score, you've got to kill the boss by turn three or bring triple mirage. Uh, but we really want to turn three clear. So we're going to use um, Reese to do a 130 dark imperil. We're going to do, uh, let's see, we're going to shift Hawkeye. We're not going to stack Hawkeye because we don't really have time. So we're just going to break and then do this. Uh, Tifa and Sephiroth can just Magnus. Alright, we're going to shift Nicole and do his shifted LB for the big stats, water amplify, etc. And then Eileen will machine killer buff the party. Alright, some fire damage on turn... Um, on turn three, but does he imperil on turn three? He doesn't. So actually, we actually didn't, didn't even need all that resist. Whatever. Um, so anyway, it's kill time. So we're going to LB those. We're going to triple absolute mirror of equity with Reese. We're going to LB with Hawkeye. Now Hawkeye is unstacked. Uh, we're going to use the new triple bolting strike rod with Eileen to chain with C King Nicole, and that'll be our hundred point chain score. All right, so we're looking for um, 20.2 billion or better. We should get it though. 27 billion, we overkilled by five billion. Outstanding. Let's see the damage breakdown. Um, Ocean Nicole is quite helpful for a water stage, obviously, so he was actually a pretty good off banner. Um, Sephiroth damage cap. Uh, Tifa did 12 billion. Um, I really wish I, I really wish that they would at least show you what Sephiroth would have hit for. Um, yeah, but he hit the 9.99999 single hit damage cap, and then the other one was his setup turn. Uh, Hawkeye didn't get a chance to stack at all because we had to, we had to do a turn three clear, but he was the 87% breaker, which is very important. Uh, Fenrir support chainer 130 in perils and um, the dark field to boost up Sephiroth, and then Sea King Nicole and Eileen were support. Okay, let me show you uh, show you the team, and then we're gonna be going to the the final final bosses. Oh yeah, ranking on up. And here's the true final stage. Um, ooh, we'll get to you in a moment, but for now we're doing. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, what? How do I get to? Oh, he's he's down here. Ah, interesting. Anyway. Um, here is the team that we just used. Alright, so, um, Esper is not super important. Uh, we did need to have Fenrir on Fenrir Knight Rees. Uh, so, N uh, Ocean Nicole was, like I said, uh, 45% water amplify, water imbue, um, LB damage buffs, stat buffs, etc. He was also our one, he was also our source of water and peril. Um, a little bit of Esper fill, and yeah, shift form, same thing. Gear's not important, the boss is all single target. Um, Eileen, Passive Provoker, Evasion. Um, I, I tried to use Mirage Vest for a double stack of Mirage for the accuracy, but you need three Mirage, it turns out, so that was actually a waste, so ignore that. Um, we had the, the new Bolting Strike Rod on her. It gives anyone triple Bolting Strike. That's super good for chaining, con extremely convenient. So she chained, and then she did Machine Killer and helped, uh, helped fill LB. Um, for the party. The boss does a 120 fire in peril and single target fire magic. So I gave her 220 fire resist for a longer clear, but we didn't actually do a longer clear because I didn't bring a triple mirager, so that's not important. 
Um, all she needed was a hunter because we killed it before the imperil. But yeah, uh, Tifa base form naked, shift form double fist, uh, maxed out machine killer, um, two ninety five LB damage, and she did Tifa things. Uh, Hawkeye unfortunately was not able to stack up, so he did the best he could. Um, I should have given him like a fist weapon for more damage. I didn't even think of that because we, did, we didn't we didn't do his LB more than once. Oh well, it, it was fine. We overkilled by a lot anyway. Um, 200 machine killer. He got leftover gear because, like I said, we didn't have time to stack up, so he just got leftovers. Uh, 295 LB, 200 machine killer. Uh, Fenrir Knight Rees, you know, whatever. Um, Esper Phil, she's not here for damage. She's here purely for support. And then Sephiroth. Um, uh, 225 killer, 280 LB, and he hit the damage cap. Okay, let's go to the final bosses in a moment. Let me... And those teams weren't planned. I did not plan. I planned this one earlier, so I was ready to go. Um, I did not plan the final boss team yet. I got to work on it, figure it out. So that video might be later today. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes to figure out this boss. See you soon.